break from the drop shack, so we are going to be doing the second part of chapter 9 in my Dynasty Warriors Mangchong playthrough. Level 85 at this point, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, we are defeating Guan Yu there. Okay. One that's like randomly, yeah. Let's go do this one first, because this is the mission where we run along that path, which I kind of like doing. Okay. Well, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel. I've got a lot of stuff on here. Thanks to 9 and with... Was in value. Um, Kessin, enabled us to somewhat minimize the damage and caused by the flooding. Gran Turismo, and some Halo the stuff and Overwatch the stuff too. So I've done a lot of stuff on here, so be sure to check out from flood damage. some stuff if you want. We shall defend this position. Currently, I'm going over here to call the reinforcements. It's Lu Thong, Bang, and Meng Da. And then it's right here, so I'm going to use my candles to just obliterate him. Oh, he dodged it. Well, I'll just Muso you. Dodge this. He dodged most of it. That's okay. There we go. Guan Yu will not receive any reinforcement. We must occupy this gate. The enemy is targeting thing. this place. We need to hold down and send our aid. Okay. Got it. So now I know, based on doing this level a million times. I couldn't make it There's through. a little pathway over here Mr. that we're going to end up taking. My apologies. So I'm just going to go ahead and head this way <laughs> this is a little bit. Exactly yeah, how I envision things. It should soon. You are simply amazing in battle. This, I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. Way for a bit. Let's see if it's yeah, there it is. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here and seal off this bypass. I can't warp there, unfortunately. Okay. Hit by a fire archer there. That's kinda weird. Um, but yeah, check out my channel. There's a lot of stuff. No pressure, it's fun. Um talk quiet because my wife's asleep. I don't wanna wake her up. Um, yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching, um, I know that not many people see these videos because I don't think people really like this game, but I still do, I have a lot of complaints towards the game, if you look at my other videos you can tell that I just really like Koei, and I like what they've made, and so I just feel like with this game, they just didn't polish it, and so I've, I've had a lot of negativity towards the game, but I do, I do like the game. I think it's really good. I think it's a very effective game. It's just the clone moves are a bother to everybody. But to me, what Take bothers me more positions. is that so there's clone moves, but that the story Aim is completely Shen lacking in the game. Like, there's just not much of an incentive to play with every character, except for some packs on weapons. But even that isn't that unique. Yeah. Route has so it's been just kind of a off. bummer because I like the game personally. I think it's a really good game. But I think what hinders the game a lot is you, you just have a lot fast. of opportunities for this game to be really good. For them to have put forth a lot of effort. There it is. There's a lot of opportunity in this game to make stuff unique to each character and I just feel like that didn't really happen when you play as a certain character that has a certain mission there's just not a lot of there's no difference they'll go so far as to put take your character <laughs> out exactly to play as the character your character won't be standing where he normally stands because obviously you're playing as the character, the but the dialogue the is attack. like your character is still standing there. We make one more push now. We might be able to and like that type of thing to me, I just struggle so much yeah. with that. Oh. 
I didn't notice this. Shu is like a rabid animal that just won't give up. I'm not sure we'll be able to hold them off without help. Oh, we can see this mission. I'll walk right past this. Okay, so I'm rescuing some people at Fawn Castle. Didn't even see this. Come over here. Our target has been determined. Capturing that Hopefully one shot this dude. The fleet there, if he spawns. He hasn't spawned yet. Though, so. Such a bore. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna just jump up here, which is literally exactly what I did before, but Looks like you I didn't notice was actually a mission. Quite well. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I can also do this. Yeah, I just I think this game has the potential to be extremely good. I was doing the really not the escape route. That was like you are an inspiration to us all. Yeah, I think what I have an issue with is just like I just want the game to be the best that it can. We managed to hold off the I have a lot of suggestions to Koei, and I've, I've been talking assistance. about them, but I highly doubt that Koei's ever gonna respond to me or say anything to me about how I'm for them. <laughs> This is I really exactly do how like I envision Cody, things. and I like the games they've made. I think the hack and slash genre is so awesome. Truly amazing. I think it's just a great way to take off steam of a long day and you can just kind of have fun. So I love hack and slash games. I think they're really fun. I know that there's like a lot of a lot of other versions of this game. Hack and slash. It's just like a very. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm doing half the things I'm doing right now. So. I know that they um, are like the founders of the hack and slash genre. And I think when you are somebody who's come up with a game like this, we you're going to have a situation where you kind of feel like enemy. it's going to be fine and you don't put forth much effort. I think that's just what happened with this game. We are to attack enemy territory. They wanted to make sure, they didn't want to invest too much into it unless they knew that people were going to buy it. And since everyone bought it, they started trying to sell DLC. But the problem is, is that people are really upset. And like, I'm annoyed, I'm not like furious with them, but I am frustrated with the way that the game went. I think it just, I think just, that location looks you interesting. can see the Let's lack of faith it. they had in the game because of how unpolished the game is. Because the game sold pretty well, I think they're going to make it better. But I'm like, you just didn't have to do it this way. Destroy There's nothing the else for us to do but to run. Batis? Father. I can Batis? only hope you stay alive. I don't even know that. Is, so we'll see. We've managed to prevent their forces from liaising. This should help us in our battle against Guan Yu. Is it this thing? <laughs> this is exactly how I envision things. Mancha. Looks like you applied your skills during battle quite well. I don't, I'll know be keeping an eye on I don't know what a B A T I S is. Abati. We can't proceed without first destroying them. Oh, it's something that's down here. Okay. Oh, so that's actually. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. It's, this is a cool mission. This is different. But then half two of the things didn't spawn, which I think is hilarious. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. I can also do Follow me. So I think I just laugh at how the fact that it is. It just 
it's an unpolished, un it seems like an almost unfinished game. And as much as I love Koei games, like I can't support the version of this game that they produce. Like I don't talk about it perfectly because I just look at it and I'm like, dude, how hard is it just to like make a game not look kind of terrible? Run for it! Because this game really does look this rough. This is exactly I just, how I envision things. I don't think they meant to, you know, offend longtime fans like me. But it just, it just looks bad. It looks really bad. And so I'm just like, I don't know why they went with it. It doesn't look like this. Like, art style looks good. Mechanics look good. Like, if the game is fast paced, it's it's a bear. That was good. But the animals. Let's go. Look now is the but time like, to attack. The leveling up system of the game looks good. Like the mechanics all seem really top notch. Like I've been saying this in the last couple videos that I've been posting. The thing I really like about this game is as you play it, like I just one shot it. Um, I will not allow you to interfere. As I've progressed in the game, it gives me better items. Like, I'm, like, I've seen a lot of videos on people teaching people how to craft void gems in this game. I find, I've found so Father, many in the most recent, stay safe. Like, just this most recent playthrough. I've like, I've found like 20 void gems just defeating generals. The enemy's might was so quite like, impressive. I think Koei did a great job with that. Like, I think this game has some fantastic you. mechanics. I think all that I would want, I think that they're getting better about this, and they're going to keep getting better about this, is I just want more story. You know, Robots of the Dragoons is like this like iconic and super famous book. And I'm like, I, would, I like the way the book is, but I feel like I don't know anything about it. That genre. So I'm like, the way the game looks. We want to help my it father too. The best way to do that is stress. Is to stop I don't know how, how this would look, but I should just stress the fact that it's based on that book and make the book I'm sorry, the best but I cannot scenario. Allow you to leave but like, alive. let there be some customization, some alternative ways to end the levels. Be nice. Because it's like that's what the game is all about. The path held by the Back to Dynasty Wars 4, honestly, when you could unlock down. the tail missions. There's been so Excellent much news. stuff in these games that's been now all about the enemy at hand. doing things uniquely. Annihilated Pond Swell, Corner. So now we're gonna go over here. Yeah, like. I think it's cool to have the game be based on the rest of the Have it be like super, super about that, but I'm like, if you go so far as to make that like what the game is all about, if you're going to base it so much on that, it has to be told super well. And I just don't think in this game there's a lot of uniqueness, and maybe that's because of the fact that in the book, there just wasn't a lot of information about a lot of generals at certain points, so they just ended the game with certain characters. I don't know. That's stuff they often let me know. I don't really understand it. I just talk about it a lot because I don't really understand that was the most uh, why they chose the way they did things. I'm impressed. I don't have a problem with it being based on Rivets of the Three Kingdoms, but I do you just this is exactly want how the game to be the best that it can? I think the event was something kind of awesome and that it's like super based on Rivets of the Three Kingdoms. That's a great idea, but I'm like, if you're going to make it be based on that, it has to look good. If you're, if you're focusing on story, this game, I would say, is more focused on story because of the fact that you're dealing with the novel romance of the three kingdoms. So you're going to dealing with story. But half the story of this game isn't really mentioned. Like, you just kind of walk into a situation and you're just like, the general just kind of explains something. You, like, he's we like, must doing capture this. that position like, in order to win why? this battle. Keep moving forward. There's just not a lot of an emphasis on story in a game that's supposed to be based largely on story. Because this game is based on story. Romance of the Three Kings. Target is that position over there. So I just there. think. Forward, march. 
there's so many ways that they could have done it that would be really good, but then also a thing that bothers me is the ping rate in this game is so slow. Like, wait, is that our target? One, one ping okay, is talking I'll right do my now. best to take it out. I defeated her long ago. A long time ago. Like, I've been playing for 15 minutes now. I think I got her at like nine. And it's like, she's still communicating, like she's still here. She's been defeated a long time ago. She even gave her lying. Or being Let's defeated. Go. Now is the time to attack! But, nope. Hasn't been acknowledged, even slightly. Our target is that I don't really know what's going on with But, um, that's something to be a quick fix. So I think, all in all, this version of Dynasty Warriors is good in that I think open world is a creative idea and I think you know, do not slow down capturing the enemy's bases I don't really care if it doesn't say anything it's not correcting missions that I did for some reason. But not really worried because it's just experience that it's not getting right now. No! My castle! I've let everyone down! I'm so sorry, boss. I have betrayed the oath I made. Bro. I am so Sorry. Huh? At last we have him right where we want him. Everybody, surround Guan Yu! I will not surrender. No matter what hardships I may face, I will make it safely back home to my brother and fulfill my oath. Yes, that one finished. That one still hasn't acknowledged. This is like a pretty sad cutscene, so I think I might skip it. I like Guan Yu a lot, so I don't think I want to watch this. It's different. Consider it to be a great honor to have been brought down by you. I've done my duty in the name of humanity. Whether I die here or not, I have no regrets. Ha! If you have all this time for talking, there's time to fight. I will face you and cut you down. It is the only way to cut the fate that binds us. If that is what you wish. For honor. good cutscene. It was well done. It was just... That's, that was not very much fighting. <laughs> I was hoping for some clashes, but they literally both just swing. And 
that one you lost. Still a good cutscene. I'm not complaining too much. It's just it's 2018, and that's a shot from 2007 right there. Good music too. That was a different cutscene though, so I appreciated that they set that up because there's a cutscene where, where Wu takes down Guan Yu, and there's a cutscene now that I know where Wei does it. So I see. So Guan Yu is gone. Are you disappointed? No. He was an extraordinary hero. But he was through and through my enemy. So he was... No more than any of the other men I had to surpass. That is how the world of chaos works. Yes. But this means that things are going to start happening now. Guan Yu is gone, and soon, Liu Bei and I will be gone. Then the world will be left in the hands of my son and you. So then what will the world look like at that time? I both look forward to it, and I am sorry that I won't be here to see it. So, you were saying that you would like to see it all happen? Of course. But it's... It's not a dream one can achieve. Still, it is something that a person would give their life for. Incidentally, what do you think of P? Is he worthy to follow me? I do believe that he has the wisdom, but I also believe that his goal is very different from your own. Hmm. That's fine. Succeeding on the path of the Conqueror means walking the path that you believe in. Let us raise a cup. To the end of an age, and to the beginning of the next one. It's good. Well done, Koei. I like that one. That was a good cutscene. The banter between Cow Cow and Simi is pretty cool. It is really random how he just kind of shows up, but I think that's what he did, so... They don't really explain that, but I don't think they have to. <laughs> this is exact. <sighs> they never, t <laughs> never well, gave me my things. castle. That's fine. Impressive. This way, I don't really care. So now we're going to roll on out, but thank you guys for watching.